Welcome back to Judo Breakdowns, your source for Judo commentary on the internet. And what I have for you today is a match from the Grand Slam in Tbilisi 2022 uh, between White, in White, uh, Leonie Gonzalez from uh, France and Angelica Delgado from the USA. So they're just bowing out to the mats now. Let's join them in action and uh, see what they got. I think this is, uh, I don't know what round this is. Okay. Charge. Okay, one of these days I'm gonna figure out what how this whole system works. It's still very uh, mysterious to me. <laughs> Maybe there's a good YouTube video about it. I don't know. Okay, so what do we got here? Just uh, Angelica's trying to get her grip on the sleeve, but uh, her left hand left side grip. She's given that up now. And okay. So Leone is coming for the uh, Sumagesh, but didn't really get the rotation that she needed to, to score on that. It's really sort of, a, I think, an escape hatch. Like, just th try something. It's going to be low likely you get, you'll get the throw, but I'm going to reset. Okay, an attack uh, there by uh, Leone again. Would have liked to see more of a reap there with that leg, but uh, you know what? I wasn't there. Okay, so Angelica's she's really bent over. Yeah, see, that's when see the Ushimara, where that leg you're you're seeing a sort of like a like a like a pickup motion. If you're trying to pick up, oh, and there's the penalty for Angelica. Yeah, I mean she's been a couple throws now, attempts now, didn't work. Anyways, just on the Uchimata. That leg, if it's doing a lot of work to pick up, then you know it's sort of like lost by then. <laughs> and like, because the Kazushi isn't really there. If you're really having to, like, you know, it's like the leg does 5%. It's, it looks like it does a lot, but it, you know, most of the work should be done by the time that leg is come through. That's my personal philosophy anyways on Uchimata. So, I think that's shared amongst a number of uh, players, but, you know, not everyone's gonna agree with that, but they they have they can have their own YouTube channel then. All right, back to the action. We've seen some attacks uh, once again. So Leone is uh, been a the aggressor despite the penalty to uh, Angelica. And uh, all right, just breaking that that sleeve off and going around the back now for Angelica. But I don't think that's a real throw. From Leone there, that, that like to me that's 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 a false attack. Like who was really gonna get thrown by that? He just dropped down. Oh, is that it? Wazari. Oh, okay. Ooh, controversial. That could have been a that could have been a Nepal, depending on uh, the referee. I've seen that before. Uh, but you know, I don't mind it. Sort of falling into the Wazari. Not a lot of f power behind it. Pretty bent over. Uh, yeah. Trying to get in like that when the when they're so bent over is tough. I, it's just really tough, and I really don't want to be too negative on Angelica here, but she's got to straighten up her back. Like, come on, it's way too bent over. Because stand up straight, yeah. And yeah, she's going to get penalized for being too defensive. And okay, an attack there. A little hard to do without the, the left hand attached. Um, but hey, that was something. And she is up with Zari, so, you know, uh, there's not that much time left. You now, about a minute something, so she could try to. I guess you can't because you got two Shido, so you gotta keep trying to go. Uh oh, the armbar? Osakomi? I, if it were me, I'd go for the Osakomi. <laughs> there we go. Uh oh, the, the armbar. There it is. Yeah, okay. Okay. Congrats to Leone. Wow, uh, let's let's have a look at that, uh, how that all sort of happened. Uh, okay. 
So there's the Uchimata attempt. She, she doesn't get it. And uh, Angelica's dropped to the knees uh, after just escaping Uchimata attempt. And uh, okay, so immediately the only is attacking the far arm and drops backwards. Yeah, okay. And then instead of. Uh, Instead of really trying to uh, wrench at it, which a lot of players do, she starts to convert back to, and this is what I think is, is the smart part here, right? Because if you, if a lot of players, when they're in this position, uh, so they're gonna come in and drop, they're gonna be like, I'm here, arm bar time, right? And uh, what happens is that, you know, uh, you see, the hand is here too. Angelica knows that the armor is there, so she's defending up for that, right? So she's, she, you know, knows that the armor is likely to come. Although I don't like that as a defense for armor, but okay, fine. She knows it's coming. So smartly, Leonie uh, says, "Okay, fine. Plan B. You're gonna, you're already defending it. So let's go for the Osakomi. and she gets the Osakomi, which." You know, uh, then Angelica has to expose like her position, and in trying to escape the uh, hold down, which is really not much of a hold down, right? So uh, it's not a surprise that she can escape. But the, the, the question is, in escaping, in the transition in escaping, that's the entire trap that Leone wanted, right? Was to just uh, grab that arm and uh, finish the armbar, right? So couple points here right what what should be done well you know first option is on the initial armbar attempt you see uh, where the uh, hand is the left hand of Angelica I would say the first option is a different type of defense for the armbar right because um, can give you a bit more uh, flexibility to do other things. What I would suggest here is uh, tucking this hand underneath the knee, grabbing, like so underneath, sorry, I should say, the left hand here goes under the thigh behind the kneecap and tries to grab as far into this side of the pant as possible. And you know, you're gonna find that because that what what that does is it creates a chain of resistance which is okay the hand is here and in order to pull the hand off you have to actually work against your own leg which is extremely hard and um so if you can do that typically you do it on the other one but like you're already there so i would just say go for go for a tuck underneath this leg and that that will help defend that now you would say okay well what happens if uh she comes up for the osakomi that's true so once she's in the uh, sitting up, the Osakomi here, okay. This is what I call the uh, mad scramble <laughs> position. Uh, so it starts actually for me with uh, figuring out which side is open. So you can see the hand is here. So obviously you're not gonna go this way, right? So if it seems like the this left hand is busy from uh, Leone. So I'd pro I would suggest probably tuck the feet in, uh, bridge, but explosively bridge, like bridge up thrusts, right? And uh, at the same time you're doing that bench press or whatever you gotta do and shrimp your way out of the position this way. So into this hole here, right? So. And so you're gonna go towards uh, Angelica's gonna go towards her right shoulder, right? So buck up and then shoot hip out that way. Uh, and if that doesn't work, then immediately shrimp the other direction and then shrimp the other direction and just cause basically as much chaos as you possibly can in order to uh, escape <laughs> the hold down and uh, not get caught, right? Nothing, nothing, nothing easier to deal with in Neewaza than someone who's predictable, right? Like, you know exactly what they're gonna do, then you can plan for it and you have you already know how to like uh, take advantage of it. 
Someone that's a little bit more wild actually is harder to deal with uh, from a offensive perspective, right? But I, you know, Leonie here did a did a great job, and uh, congrats to her on the win. So uh, if you enjoyed this video, consider hitting a like, subscribe. Uh, if you have anything you want to add, please leave a comment. And until next match, have a great night.